Hello, welcome back. Uh, today it's a beautiful day and what we're going to do is we're going to drop a drone from a drone and see if it can take off and fly. So there we are just strapping it in. Strapped in a UR85 HD. It's a little uh, Cinewhoop type drone to the bottom of my A3 from Femi. Um, as we go up, uh, I've handed off the controls to my son Harrison. Uh, so this is a two-person job. One person to fly one drone and the other one to fly the other. Um, I'm wearing goggles. Uh, we are pointing the camera down on the Femi A3 so that we can see the drone that's released. Um, and this view right now you see is the actual Cinewhoop seeing the drone. Now there we are looking down. You can see that we're both there trying to get out of the way. We don't know what's going to happen. It's the first time we did this actually set the UR85 onto uh, stability mode. Here's the first drop. And it was a success. I actually hit the throttle pretty hard. I was, wasn't sure what would happen. Um, flew up past the drone. I uh, switched into acro mode now and was able to fly around pretty normally. Uh, gonna go come back around, try and find the drone there, there it is, driving, flying right past it. Do some circles, try and get the other drone in view again. Uh, so it was a success. Um, so we want to try this a couple more times. Um, you know, we can't just do something one time and, and call it good. I mean, it was successful, but we want to just make sure we can do this repeatedly. Uh, so here we are again, we're going to set it up so that uh, we can launch again, so we lock it in place. I'm going to flip it over so that um, we can take off with the other drone. Uh, so there we have two drones connected to each other just through this servo mechanism that I designed. Um, basically the paper clip there that just locks it into place. Um, so here we are taking off again. Uh, it's very simple, straightforward. Again, lowering the camera angle so we get this downward view. Um, in hindsight, we probably should have caused the camera to rise up after we dropped the drone, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so there we both are controlling. I'm wearing goggles so that I can see what uh, the drone sees. He can see the other drone's camera on his screen. Dropping, look at that, just perfect, falls down. This time I controlled it very um, simply, just you know, eased up on the throttle, got control of it. And there it is, flying underneath. Uh, we'll circle back around. Sometimes finding the drones a little tricky. Um, wearing goggles and trying to find a white drone on this blue sky is a little more challenging uh, than it seems. Uh, but here we come again, I'm gonna come right past it. There it goes by our left. I think I got pretty close to it, but I was trying not to, to crash into either of these. I'm kind of fond of them both. Um, coming above and then diving back underneath, kind of to the side. Um, bringing the A3 back down for landing. We're going to do it a third time. We did this a total of three times. The first two times uh, when we dropped the UR85, there's a power loop. Um, I'd hoped to do it over the drone, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't that brave. Go underneath and then come back over the top. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I'm not that good yet. Uh, anyway, so this next third drop, uh, we're going to drop it completely in acro mode, so we won't be switching it out from stability mode, we'll drop it in the acro mode and then we'll fly completely that way. Uh, so we'll come in for a landing here really quickly and then we'll take it up a third time. So here's our third launch going up. Uh, this, you know, we learned from the first two some of the things that we need to do. Uh, this is the first time we're going to do it again in complete acro mode, so I have complete control. Uh, there's no you know, gyro stabilization or anything that's going to kick in to uh, keep everything level. So here's the drop, a little bit of slow motion here to capture this initial s fall down. And then here's the camera view of the UR85. 
pretty smooth. Um, you notice that there's this cropped view. That's my neutral density filter. Doesn't quite fit as good as I would like, and so it crops the field a little bit. You get this little um, center field of view. Uh, Got to try and find a fix for that. But for right now, um, it was a success, right? I mean, we were able to drop, launch a drone from another drone and successfully fly both of them, successfully take off and land. Um, I did have uh, the UR85 when it was going up, um, I did have the motors armed. So I did arm it on the ground before I took off. Did that kind of as a safety thing, just so that the gyros were uh, calibrated from uh, th that, that point on. Um, but as you can see, it can fly by. It's actually pretty cool to see this other Femi A3 from above. Usually I'm looking at it from below or I'm seeing the, the, uh, the view that it has. Um, so it's kind of nice to, to take it from this point of view. Uh, here we're gonna go dive through uh, these trees, kind of my favorite little spot here, just to dive through these trunks that grew up. And then uh, flew around for a little bit. Um, eventually Harrison pointed out that my battery was hanging out. Um, so we cut this kite fly a little short and there's the landing with the battery. Thanks for watching.